Hi, I'm Kendall from Annie's Crafts. Today we're going to be making a slip knot and some chain. In the previous video, you saw how to hold your hook, two different variations. Today we're going to be starting to actually work with yarn and building out. Chains are what is the foundation of crochet. Let me show you. When I say slip knot, I really mean the most generic slip knot. You probably already know this knot, you probably already know how to do it. I have my tail here. This is my working yarn, which is the yarn that comes out of the ball or the skein or the skein or the hanger or whatever it is, it comes out. This is the tail. I have my tail over here. I'm gonna pick up my yarn and we're gonna make a twist. I pinch and go over so it's on top of itself. Then you're gonna pull through your yarn and tighten. And that's how you make a slip knot. It should slide out easily. And again, pinch and twist, and then grab it, grab the yarn right next to it, and pull. Once you have your slip knot, you take your hook and you insert. I crochet right-handed. I have my tail over here, and I'm inserting in, and then tightening. You do not want it so tight it cannot move. You do not want it so loose that it just easily falls out. You want it to be snug. So it slides, but it's not difficult. Let's talk about chains. Chains is when we're gonna be pulling our yarn through this loop. And this is when you could say you've actually crocheted. So I'm gonna take it, and this is what you call a yarn over, which is simply me placing my working yarn on top of my hook and to do a chain, we pull through, and that's one chain. So I have my yarn, I'm going over, and I'm pulling through. Something you're gonna notice is that I turn my hook up to grab the yarn, and then I turn it down so it doesn't get stuck when I go through the loop. So I'm grabbing and twisting all the way through. And then when you read a pattern, it's going to say chain 20, or sometimes if you're making a blanket, it says something like chain 100 or 200. And you would just do this. Each pull through is one chain. And then when we're ready in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put single crochets into these chains. But you can officially say you've crocheted. If you want to fasten off, which simply means being done with this piece and doing something with the ends, Normally, if we were crocheting more, we would not. We would just leave it on the hook. But if you want to save a sample, you're going to cut your yarn. This is my working yarn. I just cut it. And then you're going to pull through. And then I tighten my chains a little. Pretty easy, right? You just have to make a slip knot, put it on your hook, and then pull the yarn through. Each time you pull the yarn through, you're making one chain. You're going to get really good at this because a lot of crochet projects require it. So go ahead and comment below any questions you have about slip knots and chains or any other crochet questions. You Go ahead and comment that below. Give us a like and go ahead and hit subscribe so you get notification for the next video to come out, which will be our single crochet. My name is Kendall with Annie's Crafts. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.